Hello, my lovely Libras. This is Debs and this is your reading for February 2023. Libra, I sat down to do your reading and I just felt as if I was really cold and it's not actually that cold here. I then saw an image of a tiny shoot poking its way out of the earth, um, but it didn't grow. It decided it wasn't ready. No, I don't feel like putting out any shoots. So this little shoot has just poked above the earth, but nothing else. Okay. Now, this could represent a seed of an idea you have that you might have wanted to start working on in January. I'm hearing it was messy. It was just messy. Tying up loose ends, not really having a lot of energy, not really sure how to do this, not quite sure if it's the right time. Uh, I'll do it next month. I'm hearing New Year's resolutions on hold. So Libra, it could be that February for you is the start of your year. This is when it begins to really get going. I feel for many of you, January was kind of a write-off for some reason. All right. Could be financial issues. It could be you were just drained. It could be you were tying up loose ends from 2022. February is your jumping off point, is your jumping off point month. OK, if that makes sense. OK, Libra, why don't we find out what this is all about? Here we go. Using the Tarot of Dreams by Chiro Marchetti. OK, so Archangel Michael, what do we have, please, for my Libras? And who do we have with us in their reading? Thank you. Archangel Ariel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Sandophon, Archangel Azriel. I'm seeing a woman sitting on a couch with furry slippers on. <laughs> and she's thinking to herself, yeah, I should get up and do that. I should ring that person. I should sort the washing out. I should check my accounts. Mm, I'll do it tomorrow. There's been a little bit of a flat energy that you've been sitting in for a while. Almost as if I'm not ready for the new year. Not ready, not ready. February is going to be the month when things change. Okay, you're going to get your energy back. You're going to feel inspired again. You're going to get things moving. You may have a bit of a nudge from the divine. Could be a bit of a wake up call. Okay, some of you, you're weighing yourself and thinking, oh my gosh, I've got to start my diet February. Should have started it in January, got to start it February. For others of you, this is you thinking, I've got to sort my situation out financially. You know, I've got to cut down on the spending. I've got to go through the books. I've got to do my tax return. Whatever this is, you're beginning to feel as if the divine is nudging you. Come on, Libra. We want you to get going. You've got stuff to achieve. You've got things to do. You've got loose ends to tie up. Yeah, they want you to move into a new cycle. This is the nudge from the divine. OK, so thank you, Michael. Hmm. I'm hearing Archangel Uriel, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Haniel. Thank you, Michael. Arnold's sitting in the corner. He's got a rug over his knees and he's going. <laughs> oh, Arnold. OK, so Libra, are you just feeling lacking of energy because it's cold where you are? Could be connecting with people in a very cold area. Maybe you just feel as if you just haven't got the energy, the drive, the enthusiasm. You're not bouncing out of bed in the morning, you know? Yeah. You stick one foot out of the bed and think, yeah, no, uh, no, 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 I'm not ready to get out of bed yet. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. All right, Libra, I think the divine is giving you a little bit of a nudge. Come on now. It's February. You should have started this in January, whatever this is for you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, nine of wands. I'm tired. I've just finished 2022. I'm not ready for 2023 yet. Libra, get going. Get going. We're already in February, or very nearly. Yeah, they want you to get rid of the old cycle, clear out baggage, sort your life out, is what I'm hearing, and get your energy back. A lot of looking at the past, Libra. They want you to just cut out that energy from the past. Whatever this was for you, issues, trials, tribulations, people irritating you, deceiving you, lying to you, heartbreak. They want you to 
make a clean cut. I'm seeing somebody chopping an apple in half with a very sharp knife. You know the core of the issue, Libra. You know I'm hearing that you have to separate yourself from the situation. You may have done it physically, but you haven't done it mentally or emotionally. Now is the time. Okay. Queen of Coins. Now, Libra, for some of you, this is you needing to concentrate on your finances. For others of you, you may have ended a situation and you're still feeling the aftermath of that ending. Okay. In the past, Seven of Cups, a lot of confusion, or maybe because you were feeling in a bit of a numb, blah energy, you dipped into lots of other options. I'm seeing somebody in a candy shop, one of those pick and mix type shops where you go in and you've got all these massive plastic cartons of sweets and just taking a little bit from each one. So you could have been overindulging in January, Libra, or you could have done a lot of little things to make yourself happy, but they were the bigger core issues that you needed to deal with that you really didn't want to have to deal with. I'll do it next year. Well, January's nearly been and gone, and the divine says, now, Libra, this is the time. Okay? Yeah. Three of coins. In the immediate past, mm, working, 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 juggling money from account to account, lots of things going on. You were tired, Libra. I keep hearing January for you, you were exhausted. Bless you. You had so much going on, a lot of hard work. A lot of people also expecting things from you, whether or not this was work, career, family, kids, pets, whatever this was, you felt as if you were having to spread yourself very thin. I'm seeing somebody spreading butter on a piece of toast, but it's a tiny amount of butter. Yeah. Queen of Swords, in your thoughts. I know, says Libra, that I need to get going. I know I need to take control of situations. I know I need to fill in that form, start that health plan, talk to that person, whatever this is for you. You know it's time to get moving. Get moving, okay? You'll be feeling in a bit of a stuck energy. In the immediate future, the strength card. This is the divine giving you the courage and confidence to get up off that sofa and start whatever this is for you. This is something, Libra, you've got in the back of your mind that you know you have to take control of. You know you want to start. You know you should begin. But January, I'm hearing, was a write-off. There's no way I would have been able to do this in January. So this is the start of your year, officially. Libra, yeah. What you're fearing is the Ten of Cups. What you're fearing is you're going to have people wanting your attention. Libra, for some of you, you may feel as if you've got family obligations that are going to cause you to have to waylay your plans until March. This could be anything from a family celebration, a birthday get together. This could be an event of some kind. This is you feeling guilty. Oh, I know January is a right off. February, I've got to do a family thing or February, I've got to be there or I've got to fly to this area or I've got to be at that event. You're fearing that something else is going to slow you down. It's as if every time you get your head around the fact that you've got to do this, you've got to move forward, you've got to really get going, something else comes into play. This is you holding back from getting involved in things that you feel you really don't need to. This could be you putting your foot down, Libra. Yeah. Okay. Knight of Coins. Wow. So, Libra. It could be somebody in the environment is coming in to talk to you. This person could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Or this is you chasing somebody maybe for money. Maybe somebody owes you money. Could be the tax man. Could be an insurance company. Could be somebody that you lent money to. Could be literally you trying to get to grips with your finances. Could be you're waiting for a payout. If you are waiting for a payout, it's coming in. This is also someone who may be wanting to start a relationship with you, Libra, but you're holding back. 
Yeah, it's as if you're looking at this person with a steely gaze as if to say, what do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? I'm busy, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Libra. What you're hoping is to get yourself into a lovely calm place where you can concentrate on your kids or you can concentrate on your immediate environment. Or what you're hoping is to get to a point where by the end of February, you feel as if you can really relax and put your feet up. It could be February as a whole month is going to be testing for you, Libra. You're going to have to get your head down. You're going to have to do things you don't want to do. You're going to have to fill in those forms. You're going to have to sort out your finances. You're going to have to move stuff around. You're going to have to do the spring cleaning. Whatever this is for you, you're not really looking forward to it. But you know once it's done, March is going to open up for you. And you're going to then really start enjoying the beginning of the spring. February, you've got to get your stuff done, Libra. Yeah. Okay. Final card is judgment. All right. The divine is saying, come on, Libra, get off that couch, sort yourself out. The year has already begun. You haven't even begun moving, Libra. We want to see some action. You need to get these things done. You know you do. Some of you are selling properties. Others of you are trying to maintain properties. Yeah, February is the time to do it, Libra. Ah, it's going to be boring. It's going to be... One of those things that you don't really want to have to do. But I think the divine is bringing in some luck for you, either in the form of money coming in to make you feel it's all worth it. Or this is somebody coming in wanting to be with you. OK. Clarification. Oh, we've got a very hot, sexy king of wands. Mm -hmm. So whoever this is, is very attracted to you, Libra. This is somebody who wants to take charge. Eight of Cups. This is somebody very happily walking away from lots of other options, or they could be wanting to travel to see you. Yeah. This person could live a distance, as I said. It could be that they want to know if you've got some time. I'm hearing somebody laughing out there. Time. I've got no time. <laughs> Their energy, Lordy B, Ace of Cups. Libra. Wow. Okay. Whoever this person is has got love on the brain and they're looking at you. You're looking at them as if to say, yeah, no, no, not for February. Please don't come anywhere near me in February. I've got enough to do. You're in a bit of a testy energy in February, Libra. It's as if, please don't disturb me. I really don't want to have to do what I have to do. I want to tie up all these loose ends, talk to these people, chase this document, contact my bank. Fill in these forms, I really don't want to have to do it. And the last thing I need is you coming in saying that you want to spend time with me. So Libra, watch the energy because you could find yourself just a little bit grumpy because you know that January kind of slipped by very quickly. You didn't do very much and now you're having to catch up. But yeah, this is someone who is very interested all right. Faith card. Oh, Libra. Could be a Taurus. This is someone hoping and praying that you're going to open the door, that you're going to want to spend some time with them. It could be tricky. You may say to this person, to be honest, I haven't got any time right now. But say it in a way that you don't make this person feel as if they're a nuisance. They're irritating you. You're not remotely interested because I think actually Libra you are but you know you have so much going on in February Libra because you're kind of catching up that you're tempted to put this person on the back burner but they're coming in I'm hearing the word ardent ardently wanting to be with you mm. all right under the deck king of swords <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Libra. I'm laughing, Libra, because if you're a feminine, you're sun and you're masculine energy. If this is somebody else, they're coming in to tell you the truth, which is I want to be with you, Libra. What's the problem? Let me into your life. And it's as if you're banging the door closed and locking it. No, 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 please. Not for February. Oh, my goodness. No. Nine of Swords. Yeah. 
So what you're worried about, Libra, is in the nicest sense, even if you're attracted to this person, it's more than you can cope with. I just don't need anything else in my life that I have to think about, put energy into, contemplate. I, I don't have the time is what I'm hearing. It's almost as if you want to say to this person, not now, please come back in April. <laughs> please come back in April because this is your energy, Libra. I mean, this is you exhausted. This is you thinking, oh, not now. So Libra, this is you playing catch up. Make a to-do list, contact bank manager, sort out finances, clean the house, start a health plan, write out a business plan. Whatever this is for you, it might help you jot a few things down because you're going to be so busy that you're going to forget a lot that you need to do. And we don't want you, Libra, coming to the end of February and then panicking. Oh, God, I forgot to do that. That was really important. During the course of the next few days, if you remember things that you know you really need to do, write them down. I know it sounds as if you're at school, but write them down. Oh my goodness, I need to renew my passport. Otherwise, I'm not going to have my summer holiday this year. Oh, wow. I didn't pay my car insurance. I need to do that. I need to go and speak to my bank manager because I might be a bit over the limit this month, you know. Whatever this is, Libra, there's going to be a lot of messages coming in thick and fast, reminding you of things you need to do. Write them down so you don't forget them. Because when this person comes in, it's almost as if you have brain fog. Because you're then going to be thinking about this person coming in, not thinking about the things you need to take control of. Very interesting energy, Libra. I hope you guys have understood where we're going with this. And so, Libra. Let's start. We're starting off with you. You're very tired, Libra. Nine of Wands, Queen of Coins in the reverse. You may be struggling financially. You may have just gone out of a long-term relationship. You may just not be feeling as if you're stable right now. It could be that over the last few months, you had to pay a lot of tax for some of you. It could be that this is you getting over the ending of another relationship. Whatever this is for you, you're feeling a bit depleted. You're just not in the go-getting energy you're normally in. You're tired. You could just be tired physically. Okay, so Archangel Michael, what is this all about? What is this all about? Justice. Ooh, okay. So Libra, this is your justice card. It could be you had to deal with a court case. It could be that you spent January balancing the scales. Trying to get yourself back into a place of balance. Not easy. Not easy. Yeah, yeah, not easy. All right. Five of coins. So for some of you, you went through a divorce. For others of you, this is you having to deal with very shaky finances. This is the equivalent of you pulling in money during the year and then forgetting you had a massive bill to pay at the end of the year. And so January for you might have been a write off. Maybe you didn't have any money to go out. Maybe this is you just stressing a little bit, working overtime to balance your finances out. Yeah. And you're still kind of recovering at the beginning of February. Yeah. What's on Libra's mind? Yeah, the devil, really. Maybe this is you knowing that you sat in some overindulgence last year and you're having to pay for it this year, okay? Maybe for some of you, this is you being approached by someone who feels left out in the cold from you and wanting to be with you. Could be a Capricorn, could be a Taurus, could be a Leo. I feel as if people are wanting to approach you, be with you, spend time with you, wanting your attention, wanting to brainstorm with you, wanting to seek your advice. And it's almost as if you would just want to shut the door. No, I've got enough to deal with sort of energy. Hmm. What is on Libra's mind? Yeah, I'm not ready yet is what I'm hearing. Three of Wands, I'm just not ready yet. 
I'm hoping and praying that that ship's going to come in, but it's not happening. And so until I feel that that is in sight, I need to sort out other things first. For some of you, this is you getting your career on track. Others of you, this is you trying to build up the business. It's as if you feel that what you want is so far away, you almost feel like giving up. What's the point? Don't give up, Libra. What the divine is saying is you just need to get proactive. Whatever happened at the end of 2022, again, it could have been the ending of a relationship, could have been you feeling financially depleted. This is the divine saying, Libra, you're strong. Get up and take action. Stop just dreaming of what might be and sitting in a little bit of a grumpy energy. Yeah, it's never going to happen. What's the point? No, Libra, it will happen. But I think you're just very tired. I think you're just tired. January, for some reason, took it out of you. What happened in the past with the Seven of Cups? The King of Coins. Okay, so maybe you met a Virgo Taurus Capricorn in the past, but you didn't know whether or not they were single. You didn't know whether or not they were available. Or you were confused as to whether or not this person was just interested in you physically or whether or not there was an emotional connection. You were confused. Now, for some of you, Queen of Coins in reverse, King of Coins in the past, it could be, Libra, that this is you having to deal with the ending of a relationship. You may have found out that your partner was dipping into other options. And this is you realising, OK, it's time to get that relationship over and done with. It's time to close out that cycle. And this was challenging for you. What happened with the three of coins in the immediate past? Yeah, Libra. Eight of coins. You did well. Three of coins to the eight of coins. You were working on your finances. So whether or not this was at the end of 2022 or January, you were heads down. Bringing in money from different sources. This is you selling stuff. This is you making stuff to sell. This is you working overtime. This is you going for your bonus. Whatever this was, you were working at your money. Yeah, because you may have found yourself a bit depleted last year or in January. And now you're kind of realising you're tired, but... Now is the time, Libra, for you to get going. What is the Queen of Swords about? Yeah, Knight of Swords. Libra, this is you considering this person coming in. You're not sure about them. You don't know if this person that is interested in you could be a new lover, could be a, a new love interest. You don't know what their intentions are. And this is you sitting in a very logical place, but it can be a little bit harsh, Libra, in the nicer sense. Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords is, I'm sorry, what do you want? I'm busy. No, I can't meet you. No, I haven't got any time. No, leave me alone. So Libra, watch that energy because when you're in a more relaxed state, when, you're, when you've got your energy back, when you're feeling a little bit calmer about things, when your life is in order, which could be in a couple of months' time, you may regret being a little bit cold with this person because they're coming in in a beautiful energy. They're coming in with the Knight of Coins, the Ace of Cups and the Faith card. What else is Libra thinking about? OK, Libra, that's the problem. That is the problem. Maybe, Libra, you've had people take from you, deceive you. You may think this person just wants to come into your life and have a little bit of fun whilst you're dealing with some pretty serious issues. This is you thinking that they just want to be indulged. And this is you telling this person straight. I mean, this energy, you don't mess with. You don't mess with that energy. This is that steely gaze. 
yeah, no, I don't know what you want. I'm not really interested. I've got things to do. Leave me alone. <laughs> Libra. <laughs> okay, so Archangel Michael, when does that energy come through? The Strength card and the Knight of Coins. Thank you, Michael. Yes, timing, thank you. Oh, soon, 11th of February to the 8th of April. Okay, this person is going to be approaching you. You're holding them at arm's length. You're a little bit guarded. And I think because of that, they're moving towards you very slowly. This is somebody who may send you a little text message once a week. Hey Libra, how are you? What are you up to? When you got time, be nice to have coffee somewhere if you're available. They're going to take it very slowly because what they are intuiting, Libra, is that you're in the energy of don't mess with me, not in February. I've got enough on my plate. I know I've left it too late. Things are piled up. I'm a bit stressed out. Don't push me. Okay. You're usually in a beautiful balanced place, Libra, but February is going to be testing for you. This person understands that. Just watch your words. Okay, Libra, watch your words. Think before you speak. Don't fire off a message that in retrospect you may look at and think, God, I wish I hadn't put it like that. That sounded awful. I shouldn't have said it like that. Reread any messages or emails you send and just make sure that you're not coming across as if this person is annoying you because they're coming in with very good intentions, Libra. What is this person's energy, Michael, with a knight of coins? Goodness me. Libra, king of cups. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn who's been keeping their feelings hidden from you up until this point of time. This is also someone, Libra, that you should know is very sensitive. This is someone who gets hurt very easily. This is someone who may not be used to opening up their heart. They're doing it with you. So don't stamp all over their heart, Libra. OK, don't be reckless with their emotions. Treat this person gently because they are coming in with the right intentions. What is this person saying to Libra? Chariot could be a Cancerian. Libra, they want to come and see you. This is someone who wants to visit you. They could live at a distance. What they've got on their mind is they want to develop a relationship with you because with the Ace of Cups, they have emotion for you. And with the Faith card, they are hoping and praying that I'm hearing this time around, you're not going to turn them away. What is on this person's mind? Okay, they may already sense Libra that you have a lot on your plate in the month of February. They may already sense that there could be some conflict. Maybe you had issues with this person before. This is someone who is coming in to fight off the competition. But I feel, Libra, your head is in other things. You're thinking about home, environment, kids, pets, your business, your work, your money. You're not really thinking about love. So this is someone wanting to fight off the competition, feeling a bit conflicted as to whether or not this is the right time to approach you. It's almost as if this is somebody who messages you to say, just wanted to touch base, Libra. Do you happen to be around sometime next week? Hoping to God that you're not going to say, no, I'm sorry, I'm busy. They're going to tread very gently with you, Libra, because they're conflicted already as to whether or not this is a good idea to begin with. Because of the energy you sat in in the past or the energy that they feel from you intuitively in February. So they're going to be treading on eggshells with you. What is this person thinking about? That one, okay. The sun. 
Could be a Leo. This is somebody who may want to see you from a distance. This is somebody who simply feels, Libra, that you make them incredibly happy. This is someone who feels that they could expand with you. You will be a power couple. You will get things done. Beautiful energy. How is this person feeling? The death card. Lots of major arcana in their energy. They could be a Scorpio. Or this is someone who doesn't know if you're going to say yes or push them away. They don't know. As far as they're concerned, the ball is in your court for some reason. They may have moved into a transformative energy. They could have literally ascended with a death card and the sun. I feel, Libra, they're ready to show you the mature them, their mature side. They're ready to show you that they have got more serious in their life. They've shed their skin. And this is someone who wants to prove it. It's almost as if they want you to see them in a different light than maybe you saw them before. They've changed. What changed them? What changed them, Michael? Wow. Okay. They went through a very painful ending. They could have ended things with a Scorpio or a Scorpio ended things with them. This is somebody who's been through it. So maybe you knew this person six months ago or three years ago, whoever this person is, they've gone through a very painful ending. They could have ended a long-term relationship. They could have had somebody leave them. They've been through it and they've realized that you are potentially the right person for them. Okay, Libra. Page of Cups. If this person was sat in toxic energy in the past, they're coming in to apologise and they mean it. They're hoping that you're going to accept their apology and they want to take things really slowly, really slowly. How is Libra feeling? I'm hearing on edge, on edge, on edge. Don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know. Empress. Libra, you are trying to shift yourself into the energy of the Empress. You're trying to give birth to new things. You're trying to build your finances. You've got a lot going on and you're sitting in wise energy. The way that you're coming across to this person is, unless you're coming forward to me with the energy of an emperor, don't bother me. Don't bother me. What is on Libra's mind? Yeah, again, Libra, I'm just getting a sense that you're very, very tired. Libra, this is you depleted. This is someone with dark circles under their eyes. You've been earning your money, but you're tired, Libra. If there is even a slight chance that this person is coming in to be entertained, wanting your time and attention to make them feel good, any type of selfish energy, you're going to tell them you're not interested. And I think they know it. I think they know that if they put a foot wrong... If they come in with, say, a Knight of Wands energy or a Little Page energy, unless, of course, it's an apology, you're going to show them the door. You're, you're just simply not playing Libra. You're an adult. You've got adult things to sort out. And this is you making that very clear to this person. But the Divine is asking you to make a serious decision in the future. So what is going to happen between Libra and this person what is Libra going to say to this person? Yeah, that you're living a little bit of a chaotic life at this time, Libra. You're, you've got a lot going on. 
you're managing a lot of different things and your head is a little bit of a mess. You know, you're rushing around, you're, you're trying to do this, you're trying to get that done, you're trying to balance that, you're trying to make sure other people are okay. You've got so much going on. It's almost as if this person coming in, even with this gentle energy they're coming in with, it's more than you can handle. You're also recognising, Libra, acknowledging that you've learned all your lessons. You don't want to learn any more lessons. It's like, no, 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 no. Come on, God, I've learned all my lessons. I don't need this person to come in and give me any form of stress. I don't want to have to deal with that. I don't want to be tested again, right? So that's what you're thinking about. What else is on Libra's mind? Yeah, you're determined to start a new cycle. Now, the unfortunate thing for this person, Libra, is that even though you may choose your words carefully and even though you may say to this person, it's nice to see you, but mm, for February, I'm quite busy. The energy you're putting out is this is really done. This is this is actually done. Why are you coming back to me? Because I want a new path. And I think this person is worried about that. They're scared that they had their chance. They may have screwed up in the past and you're over it. So this is someone who is really hoping that there is a possibility that you will say, OK, but maybe not now. What is Libra actually thinking about? That came out. Hangman. You could have Pisces in your chart. You could be dealing with the Pisces. Yeah, this is you thinking, not now. I'm just not ready to take action on this situation, this person, yet. No, no, no. I need to think about things first. What is Libra thinking about? Six of Swords. Libra, for some of you, you might have already left this person behind. And this is what you're thinking about. Why are they back? For others of you, this is you thinking, I just want to move to a calmer place. I just want to get February over and done with and begin to enjoy myself in March. It's as if this person coming in is a bit too early in the year for you. What is the energy between these two people? Yeah. Yeah. So Libra, again, I'm getting a rather depleted energy from you. I really don't want to have to deal with anything else because I've got enough to deal with in February. And this is your person, I think, realising that they miss the boat with you, missing you, feeling a little bit down, maybe feeling a bit guilty. I should have taken action before and they didn't. And so you two are thinking different things at this point of time. This person misses you. You are simply exhausted, Libra. All right. What have we got for judgment? All right. Libra. Towards the end of February, you may get your energy back. And the divine is asking you to sit in the energy of the magician. This is Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. And we have Sagittarius energy with the judgment card. The divine is saying to you, Libra. You're going to get everything you need to do done in February. You're going to feel so much better at the end of the month. You're going to feel lighter, less burdened, less anxious. You've got a lot of things sorted out. So this is you, I think, towards the end of February thinking, OK, is now the time to really manifest this person into my life? You're thinking, is it the right judgment call to say yes to this person? What is Libra thinking about? The Hermit. So Libra, you could be thinking about a Virgo. Or this is you thinking, you know what? I've spent enough time on my own. I had a lot to deal with in February, but now I feel as if I've got a lot of it done. And I'm just feeling a little bit by myself. Maybe I should spend a little bit of time with this person. That's what you're thinking about. It's what you're thinking about. What else is Libra thinking about?
the moon. Could be thinking about a Cancerian. You're a little bit nervous, Libra, because you can't really see what this person wants from you. It's almost as if this person broke your trust in the past. They're coming back to apologise. You feel the energy they're sitting in is different, but you're not sure. This is you standing back from the situation a little bit, thinking, do I actually want this? Because I know this person wants this. In the nicer sense, Libra, you're not sitting in any arrogant energy, but you know that if you proverbially open the door to this person, they will be through that door like a shot. You know it. This is you contemplating, is this the right person for me? Mm. Five of Cups, Libra. What you're thinking about is other relationships haven't worked out in the past. And with the Two of Cups behind you, you're wondering if I gave this person a chance. I know that other situations haven't worked out, but maybe this one will. What you're thinking about is it has potential. It has potential. Yeah, Libra, Temperance. This is you thinking, OK, well, I'm in a slightly more balanced place. February was hectic, but towards the end of the month, this is you feeling a bit more chilled out. I think you're deciding to give this a chance. You're going to take it slowly. Temperance is you putting yourself into a temperate energy. No harsh words. You're simply opening the door. They could be a Sagittarius. But this is you deciding to do it because what you're realising, Libra, is it may work out. This could be my two of cups. I don't want to turn this person away. They're coming in with a really nice energy. Let's give them a chance. Particularly, Libra, if this is somebody who hurt you before, if this is somebody who didn't treat you well before, this is you thinking they're not going to do that again. They're not going to deceive me. They're not going to betray my trust. They're not going to mess me around again because they've learned their lesson. And the lesson might have been in the past, Libra, you walking away from them. What is Libra thinking about? The Knight of Cups. Okay, Libra, it's a lovely soft energy. Maybe you're realising deep, deep down, Libra, you have some feelings for this person. You may believe they have feelings for you. What is Libra thinking about? What is Libra considering? Okay, Knight of Wands. Is this person just really attracted to me or... Do they have genuine emotion? So Libra, this is you taking it really slowly. And you're going to be figuring out what they're really wanting from you. Are they really just wanting a passionate, casual type connection? I don't think they do because they're sitting in the faith card, which is them thinking about the concept of tradition, marriage, stability, community with the Ace of Cups. So this could be you, Libra, realising this person does have genuine emotion for me. I shouldn't push this person away. And they might have learned lessons from the past. And I'm not so stressed as I was at the beginning of this month. How is this going to work out for my lovely Libras? Please, Michael, thank you. Yeah, Libra, again, it's going to be slow going. You're going to keep your independence. If this person is sat in any type of, in the nicest sense, pushy energy, I want to splash it all over social media that you are my girlfriend or you are my boyfriend, then Libra, you're going to very gently say to this person, I don't want to put a label on what this is because I'm still trying to get to know you. As far as I'm concerned, we're just casually dating. You're not going to let this person push you in any direction. And if they try to, Libra, then I think you're going to speak your mind. You're going to keep your independence. What is Libra thinking about? 
Yeah, let's see if they shift their energy into the energy of an emperor. Let's see if they have potential to become my emperor. You want, you want to give this time, Libra. You want to give this time. And I think you're very happy just going with the flow in this, okay? What is this person's energy, Michael? Eight of Wands. They're very keen. They're very passionate about you. They do want this to move forward quite quickly. What you're doing, Libra, is you're saying, yes, you can be part of my life. Yes, we can spend time together. Yes, it'd be great to date you. But don't try and control me. Don't try and dominate this connection. This has to go really slowly, particularly because of the energy this person sat in before. They move towards you, I feel, as if you were an option. And this is you saying to this person, I really want to take this slowly. And if they can do that, and if this builds slowly, Libra, you're going to have the time to work out whether or not this person is actually ready to sit in the energy of the emperor, which would be the perfect status for you to really consider this person seriously. Because remember, you are the empress. Slow burn, Libra. Slow burn. Okay, guys, let's get some messages. Here we go, messengers of the heart. What do we have for advice for Libra, please, Michael? The fight. Hmm. Their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love. So Libra, they will be pursuing you. Okay, they will be pursuing you. What else do we have for Libra? Thank you, Michael. Family tree. There's cultural differences, different values, beliefs or traditions that pose a challenge to this connection. So that's something you'll also be considering, Libra. Could this work out seriously in the future? Mm, resistance. Fascinating. They need time to answer the call of their soul and step into higher levels of consciousness. So you may know that, Libra. You may feel that up until now, they've resisted ascending. And you're hoping this is somebody who's going to shift into the energy of the emperor. So this is why you want to take this slowly. <laughs> And we have your card of justice. They're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration. Libra, they do have good intentions. But you want to be sure that this person is not still sat in any type of shadow flighty energy. That's why you're taking it really slowly. It may be frustrating for them, but I feel that they're going to realise, Libra, that that is all you're offering them to take it really slowly. And even though they may be a bit frustrated, I feel that they're going to understand it's either that or they're not in your life at all. So I think they're actually going to accept that, Libra. This could work out really, really well. Give it some time. So my beautiful Libras, I am leaving it there. I hope that's helped. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye now.